Welcome back to Portland Today. Well, if you use LinkedIn, you need to be aware of a new scam that could target your account. Stephen mm. Mayer with the Better Business Bureau is here to explain what is happening. And Stephen, this is scary stuff. It sure is. And mm. there's a twist to this one. Uh, according to the website where I found this bottom line, Inc., this is actually being conducted by an Iranian group. So mm. international ties. So it makes it even more dangerous if you give up your information or your computer becomes infected. So on LinkedIn, I yeah. mean, you have, you know, all your work history is basically like an online resume kind right. Right. and you can you know hook up with people to get a better job or whatever references the, and then people can kind of ask to be your friend on LinkedIn but you have to be kind of selective on who you choose you right? do you do if you don't know someone then obviously you want to be a little bit conservative if you're accepting that but the, what they're doing in this case is actually hacking accounts of people that you already know oh, so you're oh getting no. a message from someone you think you can trust a friend or a colleague so of yours like yeah. A real account. yeah so yeah. I think it's Rod sending right. me a message but exactly. it's not really him. Exactly. If I don't say yo, then it's not me. Then I know it's not Rod. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, Kinsey. Yeah. So they're, they're sending like, hey, I, I saw this job and I think it would be great for you. Here's the application. So they're sending links or attachments, hoping you'll click on them or download those attachments and then your computer is infected. So don't accept people that you don't know. Yeah, that's just be cautious with that. I mean, yeah. LinkedIn is about growing your network. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to bring more people into your network, but just yeah. be a little bit cautious. If you're getting a message or a link or attachment from someone they're not normally sending you that kind of thing, just give them a call. Just talk to yeah. them in person, you know? Okay. Avoid the internet and say, hey, did you really send this? Is this legitimate or not? Do you monitor these things, Stephen? You look at these scams all the time. I'm going to assume LinkedIn is going to get a handle on this and somehow make their site secure to where they get past this? Is right, that? yeah, you know, Facebook, Twitter, they always do a really good job of responding to these things. The challenge is there's so many of these attacks pretty yeah. much on a daily basis, so it's hard for them to keep up with it. So you just gotta use your common sense and you know, be your own best defense. And so even, oh sorry, I was just gonna say, is there any information we shouldn't be inputting that we should maybe just leave blank? Yeah, yeah it's a little bit hard because LinkedIn, you want to put your information out right. there. Like you said, it's basically your re resume online. Just be careful, careful of that, that personal information. You don't wanna be putting your home address out there. Obviously, you're yeah. not putting your social security number or anything like that. Just use common sense with what you are. Let me just on. say, somebody's posting a job position for morning weather on KGW. <laughs> it's a scam. <laughs> Don't apply. Don't apply. We're not getting rid of you yet, Rod. No. So does this start with somebody that you don't know and then you accept and then it become then they spoof the person that so they, you do know yeah, accounts? Yeah, they've actually okay. done it both ways. So they're, the first attack is pretending to be someone you do know, but then they're also setting up where it's someone, hey, I'm uh, coming in from out of the country. I'm really interested in, in new business in your region. I'd love to talk to you more about Boy, it. So, how do you know? So yeah, yeah, so it's, they're coming okay. at you from both ways. There you go. Uh, so shady. Be careful. All right, Stephen, thank you so much.